Hey, what's up guys, Kevin here. Today I'm in the Capita Mothership and I wanna go over some of the powder boards that Capita has, give you guys a quick overview of the different powder boards and help you to find the perfect one for you. So we're gonna need the hand of the trolley. Here we have lots of snowboards to choose from, but three that have caught my eye right away. The Capita Slush Slasher, the Powder Racer, and the Ultralight. All right guys, so we've got five powder boards here by Capita, each very different with five different ways to ride, five different styles, and very different boards with different tech. The first one up is the Powder Twin. So the cool thing about the Powder Twin is it's very wide, so easily floating powder. It's a twin board, obviously, so if you wanna do freestyle riding in powder, this could be the one for you. And it's also a flat board that rockers out towards the tip and tail. So that combination of twin, of the rocker with the flat, and it's a very light snowboard as well. All those things will help you to do freestyle riding in powder. Next up, a very different board. This one is the Spring Break Ultralight Pintail. The name Pintail, obviously coming from this pointy tail. So the shape of this board, the wide nose is really gonna help it float, and the narrow pintail really gonna help it to sink. And then on top of that, it's got Capita's super light core. So this board, it's a 166, but it's very light to carry. The combination of all those things, I think makes this a great directional board for riding at high speeds, riding big mountain alpine, just a really fun board to take into the powder. One standout for the ultralight series is this natural wood grain look, which is not very common in Capita snowboards. Combined with this minimalistic art, I think it makes a really unique and cool looking snowboard to be riding through the trees. And then another very different powder style board is the Slush Slasher. So this thing, it's a great, I think, first powder board if you've never had a POW specific board. This one is a great one to get you into it. It comes in at a low price point. A few cool things about the Slush Slasher. First is the metal shield on the tail, helping to give it some more durability. Also the very short and wide profile, giving you the ability to make those tight turns through trees or through the powder. So you can ride this board much shorter than you would ride your normal snowboard and powder because it's so wide, helping you to float. But this really short, fat snowboard is great for riding through trees or just uh, surfing through the powder. So a really fun shape. Next up is the Spring Break Powder Racer. This board has more of the traditional wood core but it has the really wide nose and narrow tail, helping it to float and powder very well. And it's got Capita's Surf Rock Profile. The board is flat in between the feet, a bit of rocker towards the tail, but a lot of swooping rocker out towards the nose. So this long rocker section helps the nose float much easier in powder. One bit of tech inside the powder racer is that it has cork built into the core and this cork is actually gonna help it feel more damp as you ride through the powder. So it's gonna give you that more surfy and less chattery feel. And then finally, we've got the Ultralight Powder Glider. So another board that's got that super light core. It's also got a massive taper and this uniquely cut out swallow tail. So just that little bit of extra notched out to help the tail sink in the powder while the nose floats. The unique thing about this board as well is that it only comes in one size. So there's one size of ultralight power board specific to each of the ones in the Capital line. So here they are guys, five different POW boards, all with different unique properties to give you a different ride through the powder. If you guys have any questions about these boards, leave them for me down in the comments. I'll also put links to all five of these boards in the description if you wanna check them out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have fun with their snowboarding and I'll see you in the next one soon.